Well, here we are. We've made it to Broome. And as we've been doing along the trip, I duck out and catch up with an old mate so we can take the people out and show them around the area. Now, Bart, I first met, what, five, six years yeah, ago? Like that, but, yeah. And you took us out and we had a look around the place. Yeah. But you've got a new tour now. What are we doing today? Yeah, well, it's an old tour, but um, it's uh, at the time we weren't doing it. Um, so really what we're going to do is just head out to a very, very historical location at the back of us over here, the mangrove area. Um, this is where the first contact, the first pearlers arrived. and. Uh, and uh, met up with Aboriginal people, our ancestors here on uh, some of these big large sand dunes right here. Um, it is the first sort of uh, active space in Broome in terms of the colony and pearling. And, uh, and, but it is still like uh, our local po people here. Um, we still uh, hunt and gather things out in this area. So that's what we're going to do and wander through there. All right, mate. I might gather the herd, yep. get them down here, take them out and show them around. Mate. Beautiful, mate. Let's go, Maka. Good on you. Good to see you again. You too, mate. In the first leg is identify the different mangroves. So there was a, there was a guy called Paul Folks um, several decades ago. Um, he put these boulders and these identification markers in the boulders uh, to identify the different types of mangroves. And it starts off with the, lo the shortest growing one. All right, it doesn't look the most vibrant out of any of the mangroves. It actually, looks a bit dull. And that's this little fellow here. And you can see them over there. Very very short. So if this was put here more than 30 years ago, that's as tall as they've grown. The poor little buggers. All right. Okay, so we've just walked down from south northward along this little small beach. Now this is a very, very significant beach, guys. This is the first area uh, where the boats of our early pearlers and then government officials landed along this beachfront. Um, they, these mangroves were just fully grown, okay? So in order for them to have a regular passage to this foreshore line, they needed to cut through passages, all right? And the first cut through passage mangrove that they recorded on their maps uh, when they surveyed Broome, um, was actually further down this area, right towards Chinatown, um, and actually aligned directly to what is now the Roebuck Bay Hotel. In our language here, um, Yarrungunga, we say, uh, we call this Gundurung, and that's the tree. And the Gundurung Mai, which happens every year, just after the wet season, around about March, April, this fruit um, is a tiny little beautiful look, berry looking thing that um, is very, very buoyant and can be dispersed on the big tides and goes everywhere. Really, really easy to grow. The Gundurung or Mai actually is very, very toxic. Okay? Our ancestors, our coastal ancestors observed this every year watching this fruit grow and they probably couldn't eat it because they knew it was toxic. They, would, they endeavoured to make sure that they could feed, eat this food. So what they did was experiment in a few things, but the one that was best and is still well known and taught today is about burying the, the fruit out into the mud, leaving it there for one day, two days, three days, four days, around about that time, all the toxins had been leached. They would go back, get it, clean it up, eat it, didn't get sick. Indentations, a lot of holes in here. All right, that actually belong to um, stingrays that were just here earlier, earlier this morning when the tide was in. So they come in on the shallow water tide moving in and also follow the tide going out. Okay guys, welcome to um, what's behind me is the mouth of Dampier Creek. Um, as you can see, we're perfectly aligned with the island and the other eastern side or northeastern side of Roebuck Bay. And all the way through here is the northwestern corner of Roebuck Bay. Roebuck Bay is massive. Looks like there's no land over that way, but there is. What do you just suck it out of the thing, oh? No, we chuck it on a fire. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. it cook in its own juices and in this little sort of chamber. Uh, so you like a muscle. Like, yeah, 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 pretty much. And so this, this, you know, this cone-like chamber will capture a lot of heat. And if the heat's not being uh, released from here, the only other option is to come out the closed end, and that's where the explosion will occur. If you want to try it, grab one. Okay, you will be surprised how nice it actually tastes. Have I got two legit ones? No. Now, see. Mate, when you look into the hole. If you see legs, it's a crab, like that one. Like this one? Yep, but if you've got a snail looking thing in there, like a little cap, like that, perfect. Excess mud and stuff, they have been, they, they live on the mud, so.
And you know, your hands will become sticky, but definitely clean. All right. So that's your, what we call Liringen, is the soap bottle. Yeah. By the time you cooked it, you peeled them in. Pull that out. Yep. Yep, take that cap, throw that away. Yep. And then grab that and peel them out. That's him. Yep. Beautiful. That's how you eat all that bit? Uh, all the black and white stuff, the, the oh, green and see, brown yeah. stuff is, is the guts. So pull it off. Yeah. Take all that off. Alright. Yeah. You can eat it. Depends on how much protein you want. So it's the same like when you have a, um, a yabby and we peel that, yeah. 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 Right, so I'm consuming all that. You are. Wife in India. Mm. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Yeah. It's edible. Yeah. That's what everybody else says, yeah. <laughs> You're going to hear it crunch. It's very yabby. Yeah. Yabby, yeah. 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 We, don't, we don't have yabby here, I don't know. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've tasted Roebuck Bay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. That was good. Legend, mate. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you.